Hey, what's going on guys? Today's daily challenges are going to be to pick five chanterelle plants, kill players with the sword off shotgun, kill players with the headshot, perfect pelt sold, raccoons killed, players killed with maximum gun, and ruining people's free roam missions. Now I'm going to show you a location in the southern part of Rhodes where you can go ahead and get three of these done really easily and then also a possibility to, you know, for four up to seven in the same area and I'll go ahead and explain that why. So first we're going to show the locations for these chanterelle. They are yellow mushrooms. They will be in heavily wooded areas and there are plenty of them down in this area. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you a couple other locations in Lemoyne where if you don't feel like coming down here, you can go ahead and, you know, get these uh, plants picked from that location. I specifically try to do these so a strategically placed where you can get multiple done in the same time and just makes things easier for you. So this area where you can find a lot of chanterelle is the same location where the panther spawns. Um, I mentioned before when I bought that panther saddle that, you know, I was doing a lot of stranger missions. I ended up getting pretty sick of those trying to get my last six gold bars to be able to purchase it. So I ended up doing a lot of picking herbs to uh, sell to the doctor so I could get that reward unlocked and get my gold for it. So that's why I know location of a lot of them. I ended up getting about 700 different plants and herbs in one day. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to the next part of this. The raccoon will spawn in this area pretty frequently. And you'll see when we go on the map, there is an icon for the raccoon down here. So that's why if you want to come down and get this banged out pretty easily, you can go ahead and get your chanterelle and then hunt your raccoons in the same spot. Now, it doesn't really matter what quality. You just need to kill two of those. And then the third part of this that you can easily do down in this area, since there are tons of deer, boar, rabbits obviously raccoons and there's opossums there's all kinds of different animals whether it's ones that go on your horse or ones that go on your satchel so you don't have to worry about somebody in roads trying to kill you and mess things up although with the new update it seems like most of the pelts and carcasses will stay on your horse when somebody kills you so that comes in handy now i talked a little too much there but a good tip if you're looking for raccoons they will make a little screech similar to the wild boars will but it's not as pronounced or as loud so if you hear one of those just kind of circle around turn on your eagle eye and you should be able to find them pretty easy they should be roughly 20 feet in one direction or another so just go ahead like i said circle around turn on your eagle eye and that should help out so in the whole area down on the south coast of roads just south of braithwaite manor you should be able to find these pretty easily all the way as far off to the right as I just mentioned. Now again, like I said, there are tons of animals that spawn in this area. So you have plenty of opportunities to get your perfect pelts that you can go ahead and sell. So right now I think I had a raccoon, a boar, a possum, and then uh, I come back. I don't know what I have now. I obviously I have a buck and then I have something else on my horse. So realistically, you can bang three of these out in that same location, all in the same time frame. Again, I try to do these challenges if they match up on certain days or whatever challenges we have to make it as convenient as possible. I know there's other locations and I'm going to go ahead at the last couple clips, show you some other spots where Chantrell is. There's also some north of Ansberg. But like I said, there's no point in going up to Ansberg and then if you can't find raccoons. By the way, raccoons do spawn in a lot of spots. I just knew that this spot had chanterelle, raccoons, and plenty of animals and the butcher close by. So you can go ahead and sell them without too much of a hassle. So one of our other daily challenges is to interfere with another player's free roam mode. Whether that's delivering a carriage, escorting... Um, doing mail delivery. Unfortunately, I just spammed the hell out of the explosives. I forgot what I had. I was using one of my other rifles for my hunting, and I kind of just have that one set up if somebody comes to grief me. So I do apologize to that guy, but, you know, I guess it's a daily challenge, so I wanted to make sure I got it done. But um, that was a little on call for there, so I got my ass out of there. But technically, with the other two challenges, if you have the sawed-off shotgun, you know, you could stick around, kill him a couple times, unlock that one. Or, you know, people usually tend to get pretty pissed when you mess with their missions, so it would have been easy to go ahead and get a couple of headshot kills, you know, if you're battling with that guy. But I had some other things to do. I didn't feel like messing around and uh, causing any more problems than I already did. So you see right there, the mission's over. Once it registers that it's over, you'll get credit for your, you know, basically foiling his mission and getting your gold. So I think that's four of them that I did, but if I stuck around, I could have realistically got, you know, a couple headshots. I don't own a sawed-off shotgun, but I guess you can find some of those things if you go into, 
you know, showdown, you might be able to go ahead and easily get those two kills if you f don't feel like messing with anybody or if you do gun rush. So hopefully this helps you out. Appreciate you guys watching. And uh, these is last couple clips, some other locations, just a little north of Rhodes, and then also in the Lemoyne area. As I said, there are plenty of spots where you can find them. I try to arrange these every day if I can in a convenient area, so it just makes things you know faster for you guys and less hassle. So hope this helps. Appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you next time.